folks, I got a treat for you. We're going to be dusting off some of those old legendary cars, the Group C cars, the ones that we dreamt of in the 90s. And we're going to be putting them round Sardinia. We're not just going to be putting them round Sardinia, they're going to be as fast as the R92 CMP, if not just a touch slower. But they are quality to drive, and this is my favourite. It's the XJR9. And you might have this in your garage. If you do, you've got to get it out and give it a go on this. It is absolutely brilliant. It's got 800 odd horsepower, eight, around 800 kilos. It's an absolute beauty. I managed to get round Sardinia in 23.30 with this, and I have no doubt it can do it quicker. So, let me show you what this car is all about. Coming down the straight here, we're going to hit 200 mile an hour and we're going to brake just as we get over the crest. Hard on the brakes, letting the car roll into the apex and then straight on the power as soon as you can. Don't get much wheel spin with this tune, so you can floor it as soon as you can. Floor it to the chicane, brake around the 50 mark and then we're just going to let it roll around the corner. Bit of power just to get us through the mid part and then down into first and then take it out the chicane. We're going to break around the f just after the 50 mark. Again, car rolling round at 80 mile an hour and then floor it as soon as you can get yourself straightened out of the corner. We're going to take it all the way down to the bottom. Now because this isn't a modern car, we're going to be braking at the 150 mark on this corner, not the 100. So hard on the brakes, again letting it roll in and then on the power as soon as you can. Taking it nice and easy, nice and smooth. And then you just got to what, dab off the throttle, getting that inside rub off, and then braking down to second on the second part of the chicane, and then braking at the 100 mark for the last hairpin. But let it roll around the corner at 45, and then you full metal all the way down to the straight. Quick lap, great car. And you've got to thank D Turbo Datsun for his uh, Nissan tune for this because uh, that's where the inspiration came from. So this would eventually take us over the line for a 23.30 in total. Which is very similar for my time for the Nissan R9 2CP. So no doubt this can, car can go quicker and do some mega lap times. Right, let me show you the tune. Listen to that beauty. Right, the tune. Rating medium tyres. Body height, you're going to want 60 at the front, 90 at the back. It's going to give us maximum turning. On the anti roll bar, you want 8 at the front, 10 at the rear. It's going to keep the car nice and stiff and make it feel like it's on rails. Compression, 20 at the front because we've got the little ride height, and 32 at the back. 30 at the front for expansion. 42 at the rear natural frequency 3.5 at the front 5 at the back negative camber you want 3 at the front and 2 at the back and then toe angles are going to be 0 all round differential 5's all around and then we're going to head over to downforce at the front we're going to have 504 and at the rear 1600 ECU, we're going to have that set at 83, and then we want fully customizable racing transmission. And you're going to set that to 370 to start with, and then you're going to go into manual adjustments, and then you're going to want 1.693, 1.379, 1.113, 0.9, 0.9, and 0.98. That long first gear being the main one. You could move the first gear right down to 186. That'll make sure you've got as little wheel spin as possible. It's up to you. I was fine where it was. And finally, the last piece of tuning we want is a high RPM turbo. And that's what's going to push us up to that 800 horsepower. Without it, you can max out your power and still have PP spare. So it's better off to just, to just put it on brake balance you want that at three and that's it and I think they're the most important two parts to be honest 
the racing transmission and the turbo not to be sniffed at it's particularly the racing transmission the gears on this if you don't put that on are horrible so you'll go up to change your gear it'll be about a second for it years to change the gear and then you'll be into the next gear the ratios are fine it's just it takes too long to change gear so put the racing transmission on and just watch the knots to 60 times come right down even though you've got less power right let's jump into strategy so we're going to do this as a one stop and we're going to mess with the fuel map so in this car fuel map 2 will use 13% of your fuel a lap and fuel map 1 will use 15% of your fuel each lap and what that means is fuel map 2 you're going to get about 7 and 3 quarter laps out of your tank and fuel map 1 you're only going to get 6.5 laps so what you're going to do you're going to set your car to fuel map 2 on your first stint and then on the last lap towards the end of the eighth lap you're going to move it to fuel map six just to eke out that last bit of it in your tank do that that'll get you into the pits on the eight end of the eighth lap and then on the ninth lap set it as you come out set it to fuel map one and that'll get you to the end i'm not too sure what the time difference is between fuel map two and one because uh, my lap times weren't that consistent. I was doing 130.8s uh, in fuel map 2 as my best lap. And then in fuel map 1, it was a 129.7. But that was just one lap that I managed to get that in. So it takes some work and getting used to uh, to come up with that. But that's probably the best strategy to go for. You don't want to be making it a, a two stop because then you're losing loads of time in the pits. Right, we'll leave it there. Thanks for tuning in folks and we shall see you all next time with another legendary car. We'll see you then. Adios.